Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of systems of equations, specifically how we can find solutions for these systems of equations, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So systems of equations talks about having two different linear functions and how we can find a solution. Well, one option would be to put it on a graph. So if we have intersecting lines, so let's say we've got two lines right here, and we could visually see that they cross right about here, almost about 4, 2. Looks like it's a little bit past that. So we could visually see wherever they touch, there's going to be one solution. Now parallel lines, so I'll draw those down here. Parallel lines have the same exact slope. They never get closer. They never get farther away. So they have no solutions. And if we put them on a graph, we'll see that they never intersect. Coinciding systems are actually very interesting. It means that they are exactly the same. So I actually drew a second line on top of that first line. They have an infinite number of solutions because every single point is on both lines. Let's see what that looks like on some graphs. So if I show these first two lines, y equals x plus 4 and then y equals negative 2.5x minus 3, you'll see that we have intersecting lines and right there at negative 2, 2 is going to be our solution because that is the point where the two lines meet and if we were to plug uh, those coordinates into both of these equations we would get true statements. If I were to take those off and show you these two lines, you notice that it's y equals 5x and then y equals 5x minus 6. All I did was change the y-intercept for the second one. Same exact slope. These are parallel lines. They never meet. They never intersect, which means they have zero solutions. Now, if I were to put these two, the fifth and the sixth equations I've written here, you notice that first I put this black line on. y equals negative 5x minus 4. Look what I did. I just multiplied everything by 2. It's 2y equals negative 10x minus 8. I just doubled the first equation. And look, those are coinciding lines because it's really the exact same thing. I just multiply the whole equation by 2. Infinite number of solutions. If you don't have graphs, you can also use the elimination me method. So here are two different linear equations here. First, we need to make sure that they're both in the standard form, ax plus by equals c. They actually are. Now we're going to add the two equations together to eliminate a variable. But if I were simply to add these, I wouldn't necessarily get rid of these. I do notice that I have a negative 2y and a positive y. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the second equation by 2. I'm going to multiply the whole thing by 2. I'm just going to double it. So watch this. It's going to end up being 2x plus 2y equals 4. Right, so that's just a, it's coinciding and be the same as the other one, right? But watch, if I add these two equations up, now I'm going to get 5x, but I've got a negative 2y plus positive 2y. It's going to get rid of each other. That equals 10. Now I simply solve for the remaining variable, right? So let's, it's 5x equals 10. Let's divide both sides by 5. Now I get x equals 2. So now that I know that x equals 2, all I need to do is plug that into either of the original equations, right? So let's plug it into uh, this bottom one. This bottom one is going to be easy. It's going to be 2, right? That's my 2 plus y equals 2, right? I need to solve for that y. So it looks like, looks like y is going to be equal 0, okay? So y equals 0. Let's put it into this first one just to double check. So it's going to be 3x, right, minus 2y equals 6. That x is equal to 2, so 3 times 2 minus 2y equals 6. That's 6 minus 2y equals 6. Let's get rid of 6 from both sides. So it's negative 2y equals 0. Yeah, divide by negative 2, I'm still going to get 0. So Here's my solution, right? It's these two coordinates here, an x of 2, y of 0. So if you can use a graph, then you can go ahead and place both linear equations on a graph and see where they intersect. If not, you can use the elimination method by first making sure both equations are in standard form. Multiply if needed, but add the equations, equations together to eliminate a variable. Solve for the remaining variable.